Um, I did want to, uh, of course, do our Big Bad Bim tip of the week. So let's roll that, roll that sound, roll the music. Here we go. Um, so those of you that don't know what the BIM, Big Bad Bim tip of the week is, it's a little segment that I started here, sponsored by Enscape, where you send me a tip, and if I choose your tip to share here on the show, uh, I will send you a free t-shirt. So, uh, awesome. Our tip this week is from James. I'm going to pull it up real quick. James, thank you for sending in the tip. Um, those of you who don't know what a slab edge is, um, it's it's just an object in Revit uh, that kind of acts like uh, a fascia, if you're familiar with that. Um, but it, it allows you to add what you would think, a, a slab edge. So I'm drawing it here. Um, it's a thickened slab edge, right? So anyone who hasn't done it before, it's under floor, you add it. This is what it looks like. Well, the tip from James is a great one, which is, did you know that you can host slab edges to model lines? So here I am hosting a slab edge to a model line. And I know you're thinking probably, why would I want to do that? Well, I know a lot of people who use slab edges uh, to do things like cornices and wall sweeps and sort of interior details. It's one way you can use them um, because as you may know, wall sweeps can be a pain in the butt. And so by doing that, guess what? You can create a slab edge type that's actually crown molding, right? And you can now loop that around instead of having to do a slab edge and offset it from your floor. Not only that, but you can also take your model lines and you can host them or lock them, I should say, to let's say a ceiling because you can't you can't sweep around a ceiling with anything, and you can actually add a slab edge to the ceiling. And now you've got yourself a crown molding attached to our ceiling element that will modify with the ceiling element. So kind of cool, cool tip, something that um, a lot of people don't know about. And so James, thank you for sending that tip in. 